What is an array? This is a common question I'm asked as an Excel tutor. In this video, you will learn the meaning of an array and how array formulas work. If this sounds interesting, keep watching and please leave a comment or feedback in the comment section below. Please subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to click the like button. Thank you. An array is a collection of values in rows or columns. Arrays can be constant or cell ranges and they are surrounded by curly braces or bracket. To insert array constant, insert an opening curly bracket, enter the values separated by a comma if you want the values treated as a row. Now close the bracket and press enter if your Excel version is 365 or 2021 and it will spill over on a single row. If you have earlier versions of Excel, you have to press Ctrl Shift and Enter for this to work. Now, if you want the values treated as a column, separate the values with a semicolon and it spills over on a single column, just like this. It is also possible to have multiple rows or columns by mixing the delimiters. Cell B3 to B7 is an array. I'll check for the minimum age using the mean function. The curly brackets are not visible yet. However, when you highlight the cell range and press F9, the values in the range are displayed surrounded by curly brackets. Now you see that the range has been converted into array constant. Now if I hit enter, the values remain and I can delete the contents of the range. However, this becomes static and will not update if you have new information. Now I'll undo that. After displaying the values, just press Ctrl Z to return to the cell range. An array formula is a formula that can perform multiple calculations on one or more items in an array. Array formulas can return a single result or multiple results. To get the difference between FY 2021 and 2022 as a single result, you don't have to calculate the total separately and then calculate the difference. You can do it with a single formula. Excel subtracts the values in the array and then uses the sum function to add the totals together. If you're using Excel 2019 and earlier versions, you have to press Ctrl Shift and Enter for this to work, okay? It is also possible to get multiple results in an array formula. To get the difference and return multiple results, all you have to do is subtract the 2022 range from the 2021 range. The result will spill into multiple cells automatically. And when I sum them up, we get the same answer as the previous one. Excel has some functions called dynamic array functions. They work with arrays and return values to multiple cells. And this is referred to as spilling, like we have in this example. Now, when there is a change to the source data, the result updates automatically. Some of the dynamic array functions include unique, filter, sequence, and many others. I've covered some of them in my videos. You can check them out in the link below. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you found the tutorial useful. Please like, share, and leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Please subscribe if you haven't, and don't forget to click the like button. Thank you.